up? Hey everybody, Joel Lance here. Today we are in Kissimmee. Kissimmee, I think that's how it's pronounced. Kissimmee, Florida, basically Orlando here, my good friend Mr. Dan. And today we're at a place called Cheers. It is a pub of some sort and we're here to do their, basically it's like a pub food platter challenge. So a great big pub food platter challenge. Um, I know Randy Santel did it and Michael Jenkins. Um, that's all about all I know. I know it's a team challenge. It's very large. I know it has chicken wings and french fries and I think burgers, jalapeno poppers, a lot of stuff so i'll give you some more info on it guys but i have a feeling it's gonna be kind of like loud and kind of dark in there so we'll do this out here get you some more info let's go see what it's all about so yeah but orlando is sharing pretty cool driving by some like knockoff disney stores which is pretty funny and uh yeah apparently we're really close to disney so cool orlando area guys let's go Hi everyone so here is the challenge uh, again we also have the pitcher of soda we had to finish so a pitcher of soda a whole bunch of super hot wings just super spicy wings uh, then burgers and everything else so 30 minutes wish us luck three two one go eat the mass Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. Where today we're here at Cheers, guys, doing their pub food challenge. So definitely a very interesting challenge featuring a large variety of items. So if you like diversity, this is definitely one for you. So the interesting thing of this challenge is there's only like a few items that are always consistent on it. Otherwise, they kind of appear to vary. Like the description of it is always just like consistently pub food. Uh, featuring a mixed variety of pub foods essentially. So the items that are consistent on are the very spicy wings. These are the hottest wings they have in house. Um, and they were they were hot, guys. They were hot. You're gonna skittle a little bit of that later. Um, it was like definitely a chili oil in there. They had the chili peppers as well. It was definitely uh, definitely hot. So much so they gave us uh, gloves to eat them as well. Then the burgers are always consistent. And I believe the nachos are consistent. And then the other items which we had featured, and yes, that in the center of the plate is nachos. There's a lot of lettuce on it. We originally thought it was a salad, but no, it's a big bed of nachos. The other items which uh, we had were onion rings, we had french fries, we had jalapeno poppers, we had um, tater tots, which were filled with cheese, like cheese tots. There was celery, there was carrots. Um, and I believe that was pretty much it. Yeah, so burgers, nachos, french fries, onion rings, jalapeno poppers. Oh, there's one other kind of um, a deep fried cheese as well, like almost like a cheese pocket or almost like a pizza pocket, like a little pizza pop thing. Um, those were there as well. But yeah, a large variety of definitely traditional pub foods deep fried foods. Um, I will say though, the burgers were really, really good. Um, like surprisingly good. Uh, I, I mean, I, not that I would have expected the burgers to be bad, but the burgers were really, really good. Like 100% would recommend. Um, the rest of the items were totally fine. Again, pretty traditional pub fare. Me and Dan kind of divvied the items based on our preference. For example, like he's like, I hate vegetables. And so I said, okay, well, I'll eat the carrots, I'll eat the celery. Um, you know, or we, then we each had a burger. You know, maybe he went for like the cheese tots, I went for the onion rings. It all worked out in the end. The overall platter is supposed to weigh about 11 pounds, um, which is pretty significant uh, between two people. And you only do have 30 minutes. So not a huge amount of time ultimately for you to complete it. So in regards to uh, previous winners, um, as you mentioned, Randy Sintel, Michael Jenkinson had done it. And there was, uh, they said actually earlier the week or a week or two before, there was two people that came in and also were able to complete it. Um, pretty cool. I don't believe um, they set a record. I think they said they just literally barely scraped by and finished the challenge. Um, however, I have no further information about that other than what our waitress told us. Uh, if you complete the meal, you do get it for free, which is pretty cool. Um, otherwise, it was, I believe, 50 or $60. Um, which, I mean, I guess, like, honestly, for the amount of food you get, it's... I mean, if you only had to pay 50, 60 bucks, it's pretty reasonable. Of course, I think it'd be better to like sit back and relax with a number of people. Um, I mean, unless you have really, really large appetites, because really this is like, well, probably the equivalence of six different appetizers, maybe seven different appetizers with two burgers on top. So actually, the more I think of it and talk about it, this is a heck of a deal. So maybe, I don't know if you can do it, maybe go on and just order it with a group of friends. But definitely a nice challenge, guys. Um, a unique one, pub food is always something which is, uh, well, I think most people enjoy it. Very, very salty, I will add. But 
it's kind of a rare challenge. So a pub food challenge, pretty cool, down here in Florida. So that everybody, I believe that's pretty much all the information I have to give you today. Uh, let me know down below what you think of this video so far. And at that, I'll let you get to the rest of the video. I just want to hop in real quick and say if you're hearing me right now, you're watching this point, thank you for watching the video. I really appreciate you watching the video. You are amazing and you are not a skipper. So guys, let's play a trick. Comment down below right now. I can't believe they met Joe Exotic. Yes, that's right. We're talking the Tiger King. So I can't believe they saw the Tiger King there or I can't believe they met Joe Exotic in the comments below. And anybody who skipped through this video, skipped through this part, is going to have to come back and ultimately find where we're talking about Joe Exotic. Unfortunately, I did not see Joe Exotic, but I will say we were in Florida. Carol Baskin, I'll save my words towards you, everybody. So let's go down below, and at that, I will now let you get to the rest of the video. Hello. Hello. Looks like they're gonna make it. Don't jinx it. Hi, hi. Oh, 
Everything's gone. We got some more Diet Coke on the way. We're getting in these wings. They're very spicy. I'm going to glove up. So finish the challenge. My mouth is burning. I feel like my lips are swollen. Uh, wings were pretty spicy. Dan definitely found them extra spicy. Dan, how spicy were those wings? I'm, 
I'm just a baby. Dan's a baby, apparently. But anyway, yeah, guys, so finish all the challenge uh, about 13 and a half minutes, I believe. So that is a new record. Um, it's pretty, it pretty good overall. I mean, it's pub food, but pretty solid. Um, there were like jalapeno poppers and all that good stuff. But yeah, wings definitely pretty spicy, but that's about it, guys. So we got the meal for free, and uh, hope you enjoyed today's video, of course. Till next time, stay happy, hungry, happy eating. I hope you liked it. I hope you have a lovely, lovely day, and I'm going to continue to enjoy this warm weather. So until next time, everybody. everyone thank you so much for watching today's video i really appreciate it if you click my face right here you can subscribe yes that's right click my face subscribe guys it helps me out it helps you out then you don't miss an upload and hopefully i can meet you when i come to your city also click a video right here i specifically pick two videos yes that's right two videos specifically for you right here so click a video right now get that going and it's going to end so click one quick let's go let's go and have a great day